Hey guys, welcome to Zerodi Reporter. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can you make your portfolio looking like this. So you can see that how it's cool website and for the recruiter that you got recruited at the first time. So you can see a cool, amazing website. If I show you on the mobile side, it will be a responsive. And yeah, you can see how it's looking cool for the recruiter that you get uh, like got shortlisted in the first time. And it's looking so great in the dark mode with a modern portfolio. All the things like I've added, all the project, whatever the requirement for the for a web developer. Okay, you can see like how it's cool. Okay, now it's time to show you how can you make your portfolio. So I will provide the GitHub portfolio link. Okay, you have to just go on your terminal and do git clone. Okay, after that, go on in this directory and do code. If you click on like if you type code, then you will open on your VS code. Okay, when you like open on VS Code, then just install the, all the packages using NPMI. After to start the server, just use npm start. After doing that, all the step, so come to the like app.js. So now it's time to make this portfolio for you. So how can you make your portfolio for yourself? Now let's go, let's go in just few seconds. Okay. So first thing is that like the navbar. If I go on the navbar component, okay, the, the, like we are using React for to creating this uh this portfolio okay uh, like we have divided the, all the pages in the chunks of component so there is a navbar component you can see a navbar component where the logic of all the things you can see like it will like if you click on about it will navigate to the about and so on so on that all the stuff has been happening okay the next thing comes is that getting touch if i click on get in touch so it's nothing we opening and we have to nothing to open like we are just sending this email on the url if you can see mail to okay the next thing comes is that so i think you have to not don't like change you have to anything there's already code so i think you have to not change anything but if you want to change something go ahead and change that all the stuff if you, if you want it now go go to the home page okay so on the home page you can see home card so i have to change this name so i have to just write your name okay so i write zero degree order Okay. So you can see that uh, in just a few seconds. Oh, it's loading, it's loading. Oh, yeah, zero degree coder, a full stack web developer, it's specialization in money stack. So you can see all this stuff if you want to change and, and add any extra thing, then go ahead and change all this stuff. Now it's time to add our new social handle, GitHub link, LinkedIn link, and all this stuff. So it's so simple, it's straightforward. So we have to just change this link after the github link and on the linkedin also same also and so on so on so if i click on a call so it will like you know call this number okay so and so on like href tell and it will be called okay and same for the mail okay now the thing is comes for the next thing is that about me section so how can you make your about section like this so go on the about page Okay, on the about me, I have to change something, you know, I have to change some data. So I just write Lorem 10 words. Oh, my bad. Lorem 5. Oh, my goodness. So whatever you want to change, go ahead and change that all the stuff. It's so straightforward. If you want to change something, you can change. You have a good story about yourself. Then go ahead and change. Now it's time to change. How can you change this image? So it's so cool. So we are using like soul is an image. So you have to go on your assets folder. If I show you, go on your assets folder. And after that, there's my image. So you have to just import your image here and give this path like this and import the image, whichever you wanted. And source give my image. So it's so straightforward. I think you got it. And yeah. The next thing comes is that what else? Yeah, we want to zoom in. We click on we want to zoom. So we are like navigating to the a new page so you can see so it will navigate into us on the resume link if we come resume link component we have a given the download and and rest or the reach the rough link you have to change just change this link okay and the next thing comes is that what else yeah technologies like what is whatever your skills so uh in this skills we have also using the icon data so if we have like already in icons, we have added all the skills in this uh, array of data. So you have to add something else. Like I have to just add uh, what you can say. Uh, I have to add just uh, extra knowledge, like just Git. Uh, that just uh, whatever you can say. I know Git. 
Okay, git. So I just add git and what should be the name? The name should be uh, git. Okay, and so on, so on. So if you can see, uh, if I uh, refresh the page, then you can see I've added a git and so on. You can also change if you wanted to add on the data. So basically we are making an array of object on the, and we are exporting this icon data. And here we are mapping, like we are taking, importing that icon data and we are applying map methods and we are like technology, like we are getting the uh, data as a, on the technology icon. So technology icon is also a component if I show you, uh, that is coming from, like not a component, you can see just step forward. So, okay. The next thing comes, the, come is that about the project, that is the most important things for the recruiter. How gonna you make that project? Like the project should be, you know, good looking and a good style that should be lively and dividably that, uh, that, you know, that, uh, what you can say? That admin, that recruiter can check out that what have, what did you work there? So, okay, uh, if I click on project data, there is also straightforward. We are just making an array of objects and we are mapping here with all the data. Okay, that cool. And the next thing comes is that a footer. A footer is so simple, like this is a footer. If I want to change something like um, I'll do, and here's my contact number and so on and so on. And the last thing is that designer in the designer component. This is, this is designer component. So yeah, that is so straightforward. If you want to change something, just go on that component. Whatever you want to change, go ahead and change that all the stuff. And after that, go on virtual.com, add your project, this, add your project to the your GitHub and deploy it from the virtual. I think you cannot deploy from virtual. Yeah, that's it. Thank you.